Max Planck was one of the greatest physicists of all times. And this is what he said some round in 1944. As a man who has devoted his whole life to the most clear-headed science, to the study of matter, I can tell you as a result of my research about the atoms this much. There is no matter as such. All matter originates and exists only by virtue of a force which brings the particles of an atom to vibration and hold this most minute solar system of the atom together. We must assume behind this force the existence of conscience and intelligent spirit. This spirit is the matrix of all matter. So, Max Planck, one of the greatest physicists of all time, first gives us introduction, saying that he devoted his whole life to the most clear-headed science, to the study of matter. He knows that what he is about to tell us is so impossible, so improbable, so beyond our regular, normal, everyday comprehension of life and universe in general. So, he needs to emphasize, he feels the need to emphasize that he devoted his life to the most clear-headed science of all, the study of matter. And then he goes and says, there is no matter as such. All matter is energy condensed or slowed in a slow vibration. And that slow vibration gives that matter certain solidity. You can touch the walls and each other and uh, this whiteboard and pen and whatever, because that energy is condensed to a slow vibration. Or in his words, for, there is a force which brings the particles of an atom to vibration and hold this most minute solar system of the atom together. And now we are coming to the second point that's even more important. He says that there is a force that holds the atom together and we must assume that behind this force there is conscience and intelligent spirits. There is conscience and intelligent spirit. You can call it soul, you can call it consciousness, conscience spirit. However, consciousness is not byproduct of our brain complexity. Consciousness is inherent to all matter. Even tiny, small, tiny atom is hold, hold, that, that force that holds it together is a conscious and intelligent. Each and every atom has a certain consciousness included or there wouldn't be matter. 